We've had many productive ongoing discussions with the Secret Service regarding how we'll be assisting them in protecting the President-elect and his family when they're here in New York City. We've been planning this with an eye towards how we keep New Yorkers safe and to minimize disruptions to all other New Yorkers, tourists, public transportation, and those who need to make commercial deliveries in the area surrounding Fifth Avenue. For the first time in decades, our country will have a New York City resident as President of the United States. The transition will be ongoing through January, of course, and much of this transition work will occur in the President-elect's offices in, the midtown, in midtown Manhattan. When President-elect Trump and I met, uh, one of the things that he said was he expressed his admiration and appreciation for the men and women of the NYPD who are doing this work, and I shared with him my same feelings on the matter. Look, we are devoted to making sure this city will keep moving. This is a, a big challenge and an unprecedented challenge. We know that. But we are committed to making it work. We need the city to keep moving at all times. We're entering the holiday season, which adds a layer of complication. Uh, but the NYPD, working with all other partner agencies in the city government and with our federal partners, will continue to refine the approach to make sure it maximally allows for people to move freely through the area. We understand the number one imperative here is safety and security. We owe that to the president-elect, his family, and his team, and that is important for all New Yorkers. So that will be the most important consideration, but we believe we can balance that with uh, a number of measures to keep traffic, both pedestrian and, and uh, vehicular traffic, moving as well as possible. We have a 65-day period that we know with some assurance uh, will be a time when the president-elect is focused primarily on New York City, uh, will provide the protection during that time frame. When he goes into office, it'll be a chance to reset and see what his decisions are about where he'll put his time.